What's up everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It is episode 12, and it is also a brand new year. So for everyone, happy 2024. 2024, yes. <laughs> Make sure that I got the, the year right. Uh, and we're back. Brand new year, and we're potentially concluding this series. I'm not sure how many episodes we're going to have left. Um, but this very well may be the last episode. Um, or we might have a couple more, so I guess we'll find out. Um, but in the last episode, it's been probably a couple of weeks because I took time off for Christmas. So uh, I think the last episode was mostly we were on the ship. I think we started out uh, after being thrown off of the the boat. Oh no, uh, taken by the girl because we're playing as Mia now, and we have been exploring the ship kind of learning the backstory of the girl who is patient zero or patient one uh of this virus that has been spreading uh i'm not sure how she wound up at the the house yet so we're still yet to find that out and we also are still collecting coins so i have a feeling we're still gonna wind up back at the house at some point i'm not sure how but because we're collecting coins, and we didn't get the, the is it a revolver? I can't remember the type of gun it was. Uh, the whatever the gun was that was in the, uh, in the cage, we still have to unlock that, and we're still getting coins. So I'm thinking, we're gonna some at some point make it back to the house. That might be to, where we wind up fighting the girl, um, or battling some kind of mutation of her. But yeah, she is patient zero. She was she tried to jump scare us last time I remember, um, <laughs> but it didn't work because I was kind of expecting it. And she was in this room, and we watched a a tape where we were running around the ship in the past, uh, and we had a we had a I think it was a it was an SMG of some kind. I can't remember what type of gun. Uh, but we had a SMG, so it'd be cool if we could actually get that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to be limited to a little bit um, lighter of an arsenal when we actually take her on. Um, but yeah, we're, we're back, and I... I'm not sure if we're going to get jump scares in this one. I, I feel like there's like a... We, we do a backstory, we get a little bit of a jump scare, and then we have more of like an exploration and kind of working stuff out so i think that was last episode but we also had a jump scare i'm not sure we'll see but if we get the pants scared of us uh that will be it. that'll make for a good episode uh this could potentially be the last episode too uh we might conclude the story and get all of the information in this episode so i'm keen i'm keen and i'm i'm curious as to how we're going to delve into combat against this girl with Mia, we she came at us with a chainsaw and we had to shoot her. Uh, with the with the father, we had the the car. Uh, the mother was basically flamethrower, and well, actually, let's be honest, it was shotgun. Um, same with the brother, we end up using a shotgun. Shotgun OP. Shotgun makes me feel safe. I like the shotgun. Um, so. Each of the each of the interactions was pretty pretty cool and um, and interesting in their own way. So I'm curious. I'm, I'm pretty keen for the for how we're going to take on the girl now. And now that we know that the girl was patient zero, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last fight. I thought maybe we would fight the cop, but we didn't, which was a uh. An anticipation that didn't happen. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so let's remember what, what we have. We don't have weapons, but we got, we got ammunition. Machine gun ammo. So we maybe we will get the SMG. Uh, and we got handgun ammo. We got another coin. And then we've got Evelyn tissue sample. So maybe we cure her? I don't know. It'll be interesting. Okay, so now we're getting chem fluid, so we probably can craft stuff. Actually, we didn't loot in here. Uh, if there was any loot. Let's have a look around. 
No, I don't think there will be. That was me, wasn't it? <laughs> it actually scared me. Okay, I'm a little bit on edge. It's been a couple, uh, been a couple of weeks, so I need to get back into, to feeling, feeling this out. Um, e Nick Tox. Okay, so Tox Toxin Destruct. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't know what I have my head trying to read that. We get in here. We have a ladder. Should we have to go upstairs? Can't remember where we came from, so we'll be going back. I don't know. I don't want to make sure. I, th I think we came down this way. We went into this room. Oh no, we came from this way. Well, oh, alright. Let's see. I want to go up there, but I feel like we're going to miss something if we do. Oh, okay. Hold on. Something has to go in there. Looks like like maybe a battery or something. So maybe that's what we have to look for. I reckon maybe we have to use that to open up something on top of the ladder anyway. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we have to go up first, and then come back down. Get a lockpick. What was that? All bullets? SMG ammo, okay. Better ammunition box as well. Okay. Okay. Finding stuff. Gunpowder. So I think we're going to be able to craft more ammo. Which tells me that it's probably going to be a fight. Heals and ammo. Definitely going to be a fight. Okay. Maybe upstairs is going to be the final fight. If, <laughs> if the game ends after this fight <laughs> and this video doesn't go for that long. Um... That's going to be an underwhelming ending. Well, oh well. <laughs> That's what I get. I'm thinking with the next series, because I've been doing these videos as like an hour long uh, video. Uh, I'm probably going to do half an hour episodes again. The same that I've been doing with, um, with Nightmare from the Deep series. Uh, just because it's a little bit easier to divvy out episodes and in the event that I, I think it's more more likely that if we come up to an ending where it's like 10 minutes into the next episode it's not as bad uh compared to going from our a long episode to a 10 minute episode to finish the series so but hey that's kind of the fun of figuring out the channel right uh i've never done like a youtube channel so kind of planning out these things in advance, especially because this is like first time playthrough and stuff, so I can't predict how things are going to go. Also, I'm not getting back up there now, so I didn't think about that before I came down here. I should have had a look around. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> hopefully this is a longer episode than um, 10 minutes. Hopefully we, we don't just get straight into a boss battle and then finish the game. I don't think so. I think we got a little bit. Works. I think this might be the last episode, though. Um, but yeah, I think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down the episodes to do half an hour long, um, and if I can, I might publish Ethan. more. But I think doing two a week is pretty manageable for me. Uh, so so let me time. let me know because uh, uh, if you okay. guys are watching this, bottom level. Oh, hold on.
Oh my god, actually. It's actually scary. You're. <laughs> you were in the table. Fucking hallucinations. Ah! That Where is she? <laughs> like I said, I'm not in the right mind space right now. That actually scared me. Like, when, when I get scared, I don't necessarily always react. Like, huh! But I get the biggest chill down my spine man like i pucker up and everything it's it's really bad my blood went cold just then what the heck Woo! Oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> this is why that's why i get for being distracted um what was i saying i forgot what i was talking about now um yeah <laughs> i think i was saying uh, if you if you guys like the shorter episodes or the long episodes, let me know in the comments. Um, if if you want me to cut up these episodes as well, I've I didn't cut up the episodes for these videos because I think seeing like the long form reaction and stuff is better for these kinds of games. Uh, like I've I've got an Among Us video on my channel which I, I cut up to kind of cut out any kind of boring bits and stuff and. Uh, future videos that I do maybe of Among Us and other games I'll probably do more editing but for games like this I kind of keep it unedited uh, for the immersive experience of kind of enjoying <laughs> I'm going back and forth kind of so you guys can kind of get immersed along with me especially with a, a scary game like this where I sh literally just shit my pants uh, so yeah, let, let me know. Uh, I'm open to all kinds of feedback on my channel, especially because uh, I'm just starting out, trying to figure things out as I go. Um, and let, let me know uh, the, your favorite parts of this series. Uh, like, was there any part where you are watching this if you pl played the game that still scared you, even though you saw it coming? Uh, I'd be curious to know that. Man, I just... Every time I come back to this game, like, after a week or a couple of weeks of not playing it to do some more episodes, every time the, um, like, the... Just feeling so immersed because of the, the sound design is just so good. And just the set design, too. Look look at that. That is great. The, the kind of, like, light shafts coming through the window and stuff. Like, I, I just get very immersed very quickly. Which is... It's just so good. And I love the little de details and stuff. This... These these games aren't massive world environments, but it allows the developers just to kind of really go into and crafting the the environments to, to just feel that much more immersive. Also, the developers and whoever wrote the story... Oh! I recognize where we are. Like, like those little creaks and stuff, man. They have me skits it out. Oh. Don't push me, don't push me, don't push me, don't push me. You gotta push me down. I'm watching. <laughs> I don't tr I don't trust nobody. Oh. Okay, so I can't. Oh, uh, okay, I see. So I could, I dropped down, thinking I couldn't get back, but I, I think I can. Okay. Yeah, but I like, I like what the the developers have done with the story. They knew that the best way to make the the best option for the final boss, like the like the the creepiest, would be the the girl. So we kind of we kind of went down in age. I get the you had the dad, is kind of like, just, uh, presence wise because he's big and he's like, um, like the biggest one of them all. Is just physically intimidating, but then you move on to the the mother, who is uh, just kind of whacked out, kind of crazy, and then the brother who is just unhinged and psychopathic. But then you got the creepy little girl, and it's there's just something more uncanny about a little girl who just 
there's more question marks in your mind because you're like as someone gets older they oh I found the SMG can't use that here so we get a key and we also get is that a bomb some kind maybe okay The little details like like that just comes up in your your camera view and like makes you look look at it because you're like huh what was that all right all right all right all right i'm semi stalling because i don't want to get scared but i'm also trying to get more immersed in it and it's i hear you how do i Oh, I already have a bomb. When did I get this? Wait, what? Uh, I must have missed that. I was not paying attention. Oh, pardon me. It's a burp. Okay. way I can attack. No. So I must get a pistol or something. Oh, I mean, I get the SMG, so it's probably that. But then I'm... I'm wondering if I'm gonna end up back at the... the house. Oh, wait, hold on, that suitcase. We can get back to it now, can't we? So we just go... Go back down? Oh, I thought I'd take damage. Alright. Hmm. Oh, the contents has been taken. Oh, so we don't put something in there. We need to find what went in there. Oh. Huh. Okay. So now we're just going to blow this up. So here, we need that acid. Like I said, this episode might be where we look for stuff. Oh, I think I don't think I actually said that. I think I was trying to say that, but I got distracted. Because uh, I, what I found with this game is we kind of get like a pattern of gameplay, which which games do that to kind of break things up. Uh, we have like an intense, scary kind of moment, maybe a fight, then we'll have like a, a bit of levity to that. So they'll do something like a puzzle or um, something that's not as um, action heavy, stressful, to kind of like ease you back out, to kind of allow you to have a little bit of like space between it. Because you, you don't want a game that's like constantly boom, 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 boom. Uh, that, especially like a story based game, because you want to you wanna take the players on that kind of journey and you want to kind of have those moments of levity and those moments of um, intensity which is I think uh, interestingly enough I really I'm not a first person shooter type of gamer um, I just really I suck at those sorts of games but I really enjoy playing PUBG from time to time oh okay so that's where this leads to right and I think I like PUBG a lot because in that game there's there's like periods like when you when you start you can hot drop and you might get into a fight uh, over a particular area if it's contested in order to get loot. So there's that initial intensity if you play that way. 
Um, but then there's the mid game, which is often a little bit slower. You're looking around trying to loot the stuff that you want, um, maybe chasing drops or whatever. Uh, it gives you that kind of choice, and there's moments of, uh, I guess, less action at times. So it gives this kind of, um, kind of space between fights at times, and I think that that really makes the game more, um, I was gonna say enjoyable, but I think there's more to that. Um, I think more impactful is what I'm uh, what I'm looking for. It, it makes it makes things feel more impactful because when you have those breathing spaces between action, like fights and stuff, you're able to um like it makes those fights just that much more intense. And especially when you have those those gaps, it means that you've invested more time, you're more invested into that match. Uh, so, those fights just feel more intense just because of the... Okay, so this leads back. So, it really is only... Can I climb down the ladder? Alright. I gotta blow something up then. What do I have to blow up? Remote bomb. It'd be detonated with R. Is there a door? Good. Hmm. Do I have a map? I do have a map. What does this say? Get the machine gun, go to the bottom level. Oh, wait, go to the bottom level and save Ethan. Oh, right. <laughs> the image on the screen. I completely forgot about that. So, uh, so I have to go down. So I was going the right way. Man, I am not... I am in distracted mode today. I still like talking. I like chatting sometimes. I, th I think I'm in that kind of mood. How do I get back down? So I go down here and then use the stairs. Yeah. Oh! Bad stuff. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Well, I guess that means I have to go down there. So, what is this? Lewis. Uh, the cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to f use it to fix uh, something in. Uh, 3F, sick bay. Uh, you're gonna have to ask Dr. Wad Waddle? Or it? Waddle? I guess that's how you say it. Um, I'm, need, uh, I'm needed down in number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working. Dwayne. Um... I just realized we're going to save myself, who I was playing as before. So we might actually end up back at the house. Things first. I want that knife. Because I need to break that, uh, that thing out. Ooh. Yes. <coughs> Alright. 
There was the stairs this way. That's where the thing now is. I actually don't know what I get if I break all of these. So this is not the right way. The right way is up here. Getting some fitness in. Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! I have to run. Oh my god, that actually scared me again. Cheers! Run down to my spine. Did I block it? Half blocked it. Oh my god, that scared me. That scared me. <laughs> uh, why? Why? I have a wrist thingy, I can't see if I'm hurt. Stay back. I thought I was safe. Okay. I'm gonna have to run past it. So I need to make some heals. Then. Blood on the screen. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna heal up. Better heal up now, right? Whew. Do you want me out? Huh? Run, 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 run. Where's the other dude? Oh, mother. Mother bitch. Hey, you. Are you stuck? Why are you standing there like a weirdo? Alright. You I can manage. You walk slow. Wait, is that the guy that was downstairs? Did he like make it upstairs or something? Alright, now we drop back down here. Now we go down here. Uh Yeah, we broke the thing, we got the knife. We gotta get tables, so we need to go to uh what was it again? It was level 3, F3, sick bay. I guess we need to go upstairs? This is. I don't want to climb. That's. We're going to climb up. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I remember where we are now. So... It's all coming back to me. Okay, so we need to find the stairs. Oh, hi. You know what? That's a nope. Oh, I'm so quick. Did you come in here? This is my safe space. So now we need to go to sick bay. Which stupid chair. Go back 
goes up down. So where's sick bay? Let's see if there's a see it on the thingy. I'm assuming that's the door that we have to unlock. Right? Chimneys with this is sick bay. So I hear you. Broken. Oh, now. I don't fix it or something. Hey, hold on. Let's have a look. So, open door with corrosive. So we need to get the corrosive. Repair the elevator. Get the machine gun. Okay. Oh, I, I actually haven't taken the time to read this. So, we got two missions. So, I'm assuming this is the alternate, like a side mission kind of thing. Find the captain's cabin key for the locker. So, okay. We're kind of safe here. So, let's have a look around. Sick bay is here. We access that from... It says the shaft... So we, we access that from here. So we need to get the acid corrosive. Brig, that's sort of at top. Dining room. I think that's below. Bunk room. Bunk room. Recreation room. Oh, there's a another place. Oh my god, how many levels is there? Shipwreck. Cargo bay ship uh, ship S2. That's where Ethan is. This one S2 for Oh, okay. Uh I guess we just <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to just look on each of the levels. Uh All right. The lucky. Says that. So level 2 is where that down to level one. I can hear shit, but I can't see shit. Bye bye. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh man, god damn it. We're safe in here? Just need some corrosive. Where do I find some corrosive? 
Actually, can I craft it? I haven't actually checked if that's a thing. No, it's not. Dang it. Bye. So that was floor one. Alright. Basically checked everywhere there. The bunk room, nothing in there. Uh, we checked the stock room, but we already looted that before. Laundry room. Briefly went quickly through there, but I'm pretty sure before we also looted that, so... I don't think it's in there. We also need to get into the recreation room. I have a feeling maybe the key's in there? Um... Just the staircase. The red mean that we can't get through at T. Say. It says bunk room as well. But we can only get into the hallway and whatever this place is. Okay, so... Hold on. Uh, F2. That's the... Elevator. We kind of crawl through. Maybe we unlock this door from the other side. So we'll go up. We'll see if it's locked. Ah, uh, and maybe we have to go into the bunk room. I think that's probably where it is. Okay. So, ready, this door's gonna be locked. Right, right door, yep. Yeah, locked from the other side. Okay, so that's how we get back out. Okay, okay, so we do have a way out. So we go down the elevator shaft. So, I'm gonna make some more heal. Yep. Okay. That's F. Wait, hold on. What? F1. Oh. It looks brighter. Oh, maybe it's just because of that light. It was way darker when we were down there. Wait. Unless there's like a section that we couldn't access. Hold on, let's have a look. Um, so we're just down there. And it was way, it was way darker. Well, okay, well we know it's down there. We, we've already tried to go down there. Uh, F climb up, yes. I'm gonna go this way. We can unlock this now. Oh, okay, I see. That's for that. Hi. I'm going in here. Sixteen years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivor is still uh, suffering. Gunpowder. Oh. Well, I guess it's somewhat useful, but... Fluid, we can make some more heals. No, we can make some other stuff. <coughs> eh. Is that a thing over there? Hold on, can we get in there from that here? Okay, so that's what we need to open. Ow! 
Oh, we got a safe room. Okay. Heal. <laughs> Erosive, finally. Oh. Okay. Oh, we actually might just store stuff on this one. Uh, let's store... Let's store that. We don't actually need that right now. A small bottle containing tissue samples, Evelyn. I feel like we probably don't need that just yet either. Okay, God, that's a story item, I guess. Press R to detonate. Does that kill it? I don't want to use it because it, it feels like it'd be useful, but like, maybe I'm supposed to just use it. Come on, have I read these? Uh, Special Operations Divisions. Director Alan uh, Droney and caretaker Mio. I think, yeah, we read that. Maybe? No, maybe we didn't. Okay, hold on. Uh, recent reports suggest that, uh, that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at high risk of being... Yes, okay, we did read that. I remember that. So we're back to this place. What did I pick up? Pick up something. <clears throat> okay, so we are corrosive. Now I gotta think. What do we use it on? Right? Because we need to use it on. Like, if we use it here to get back, it's kind of a waste. We can get back through here. So, and if we use it here, we get into the sick bay, we can go down the, uh, the shaft. And that's to progress. But I have a feeling if we use it... Oh, where is it? Uh, that's where we need to go. Office. We'll use it here. F1. Recreation room. We might find something to... Like the key? To be able to get the gun. So I'm going to take the risk and we're going to go to F1 and try that. That's cheating, man. That ain't cool. <laughs> like I said, it would be more corrosive in that room. Roast. F. F. Okay, so we pulled him out now. Find the cap. So we picked up a bag, so we got more storage space. Not really all that helpful. But maybe that allows us to carry the, the SMG. Oh, gunpowder! I don't have gunpowder. Track to me through the wall. If I like try and lure it to this side. Alright, let's see. I need to go to the staircase to go back up. But I want to go back in here, so if I open the door, hopefully it'll block it from the side. Oh my god. Stupid 
people getting stuck. Okay, now let's have a look around. No more ammo. We can make more heals. Come on, key. Give me a key. Ooh, explosives. Okay. I think we have enough now. I'm going to actually use it. I'm going to try and use it. So. <laughs> oh. Wait. I, I can't just throw it? Do I have to, like, place it on it? I don't want to risk it and die. Hold on. I have heals, so... Things get hairy. Alright. Oh. We can't use this to attack. Good to know. We didn't take damage, so we're good. Uh, we got heals. Okay, so... Gonna use it to break stuff, by the looks of it. Okay, so we checked the recreation room, nothing. Bunk room, we checked that, so we pretty much checked everything there. Level 2, we can now go through that door if we want, but... Oh. Okay, what's this? There's another door here. That leads to this bunk room. Oh, that was the other room! Okay, we go there. So we come out. Uh, which? Okay, so we just we'll come out through the thing here. All right. Side. Okay, okay, okay. I want that SMG, alright? I'll feel safer. Make sure I'm not missing anything. <coughs> so we could go, let's go straight there. Let's go straight to our left follow me you little bitch oh my god Food, I will take more bombs that I have no idea what to do with. <clears throat> I got six now. I surely, surely I must use it for something. Aha! Oh, do I place it on a surface? As like a trap? It seems, it seems to place here. Can I place it on... Over here? I can place it on... I can place it on that. I have a heal. I can take... Ah, move, move, move. Haha! -ha. Suck on that, bitch! Oh, oh, 
Okay. Alright, let's have a quick look. Okay, so we're on F2 now. And we need to get to S2, right? Sick bay. Okay, we need to get sick bay. Uh, but we need to. Where's where's the captain's control room? Okay, so all the way at the top where the bridge is. Okay, okay. Okie dokie. How do I get back? Go out and do a run job back around. All right. for another climb. <laughs> you know, I thought this might be the last episode. I was worried this might be a... Uh, <laughs> a short episode as well, but... Nope. We're doing good. I think we we will have like a full another episode as well. So I think we're getting towards the end of the episode. Let's just have a drop down here, we're gonna get into the cabin. Hey you Yep, come this way. Nope, nope. Alright. And I think we get this gun, and this is the. We can end it on this. Uh, P19. Yes. Another remote bomb, and we got a full clip already in it. Hell yeah. Alright, so I think we're gonna end it here. Because we're going to come back in the next episode, and we're going to, uh, we need to go to the sick bay. We're now armed, so I'm feeling a lot, a lot better now. Uh, we got, we figured out how the, how the bombs work and stuff, so, I think, I think we're doing alright. I also forgot that Mia also has, like, some kind of extra strength and stuff. I thought maybe I would have, like, less health, because I'm, uh, a different so we don't have the health upgrades, but I I think the way that they've done it is you get health upgrades as Ethan, so that eventually you kind of get to the same durability as me. It kind of like makes sense uh, that she's more like has that same durability. That way it doesn't feel like oh I got these health upgrades, but now they're being stripped from me. Because some games will like they will build you up to be really strong and then they'll like take abilities away to kind of uh, rebalance you. Uh, in in a way, uh, but they didn't do that. But it's, by the, it seems like because I've taken a few hits and we haven't died yet, so um, I think that that's kind of their justification, like how they justified uh, not having to do that. At least that's how I'm, it's my head cannon. Like how we're justifying it. Um, but yeah, so we got we we made a little bit of progress. We now uh, have an arsenal. So in the next video, we're going to come back and we're going to explore what's in the sick bay. I'm assuming we're going to re-attain control over, like, uh, playing as Ethan. Uh, so maybe we'll get the SMG and stuff. Uh, but we'll find that out in the next in the next episode. So yeah, uh, if you guys are enjoying the series and you're enjoying the Resident Evil series, definitely let me know, because I'm trying to work out whether I want to play any other Resident Evil games, and trying to work out kind of what content I want to put on my gaming channel, uh, and kind of the audience that I want to aim for. I like these sorts of games, uh, personally, but I like a lot more games that I think are targeted towards a more, I guess some would say a fam family-friendly, uh, more wider audience as well. Like, I, I often play those sorts of games more, so I'm considering 
whether I should play more horror games and go down the niche kind of horror aspect of the channel, um, or whether maybe I pivot after this series and um, maybe save a a horror series for like every uh, every like maybe for on the occasion and do it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll be curious. As to what you guys think, do you like this series? Have you watched uh, Nightmare from the Deep? I'm on series two. We're up to, I think episode seven, maybe eight came out. Uh, by the time this one goes up, it'll be episode, I think it's episode eight. Probably episode seven. Um, but yeah, so uh, do you like that series more? Uh, what kind of content are you hoping for? Do you, do you like these videos? I know I'm not super like, uh, I guess energetic when I react to horror because I I am pretty comfortable with horror games. I like uh, horror games, which is why I did this on the channel. Um, but if you if you like the more puzzle aspects uh, and how I solve them, if you like hearing more about like game development stuff and my kind of my my view on that as a game developer, uh, let me know as well. If you if you're not super interested, you just want to see the gameplay. Uh, of it, let me know as well. I, I'd love to know what your guys' feedback is. I'm trying to grow this channel and make it a a bigger a bigger channel. I want to kind of do something different on this channel to kind of provide a little bit more insight into game development uh, as kind of like a reaction content creator slash game. I, I don't know, so, something different because I know there's a lot of people that do games. There's some reaction content where people watch movies and stuff. I did a reaction video to the last, uh, the Avatar Last Airbender Netflix, uh, trailer that dropped, which, uh, actually to this day so far has gotten my most views. So if you're coming to this video from watching that, uh, let me, let me know if that's, that's where you've come from. Uh, cause that got the most traction on this channel. And if you, you'd like that sort of reaction content, uh, do you want to see more of that related towards game development? And a friend of mine suggested that maybe with some of the stuff I talk about in regards to game development, whether you maybe I could put in uh, some kind of demos, uh, maybe a little bit of behind the scenes developer, uh, how, how would you go about making this into the videos? Um, so that might be something I experiment with in the future as well. So if you're interested in all that sort of stuff, uh, leave a comment, all that sort of stuff down below. But yeah, so uh, yeah, basically uh, I'm I'm keen for a bunch of feedback on uh, the channel. If you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, some of you guys have been leaving a like, so definitely leave a like if you like the series and all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, and if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. That'll help me to grow this channel and... Uh, bring more viewers to the channel which uh, will help support me in making more content for you guys so if you want to see more of that as well uh, hitting the subscribe button definitely helps out a bunch um but yeah uh we're gonna leave it here and we're gonna be coming back in the next episode and we're going to well we've been preparing for a fight basically so hopefully we get a fight in the next episode and maybe it'll be the last episode as well i guess we'll see and it will be fitting, because this is episode 12, so that'll be episode 13. Which 13, if you don't know, it, well, you probably don't know, <laughs> is my uh, is my lucky number. Uh, because I just like the number 13, it's a Fibonacci number. Uh, so, yeah, we might end the series on episode 13, which I think would be fitting. It's kind of like, uh, on theme. But yeah, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and until... Uh, next week, next episode, I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching.